to YouTube, what the crap's going on, Era of Carthage here, and uh, my sponsor, MSI, uh, wants me to show you all something awesome. So they've got this play fast, play cool promotion going on, which is showing off their new X570 series of motherboards, which are obviously there for the new Ryzen 3000 series. So they have sent me the parts to build a Ryzen Dream PC so I can play fast and play cool and I'm gonna show it to you all. This picture you see, okay, that's not my office, but they've sent me pretty much everything for the setup with a couple of small differences. I'm going to talk through all these parts, tell you why they're awesome and what they might do for you, and then I'm gonna be able to show you a bunch of benchmarks at the end to show you how this um, new MSI X570 uh, AMD gaming computer performs out there against the competition step through the parts for this build one by one. First up is the MSI MPG Sakura 500G case. It's a mid-tower case uh, that can support up to EATX motherboards. It has an extractable radiator bracket on the top, making it very easy to be compatible with water cooling, and it has these awesome toolless tempered glass two-hinged swing doors. Makes this case very easy to build in, lots of room for anything you can imagine, has great cable management, comes with two 200 millimeter fans up front, and a 120 millimeter exhaust fan in the rear. Now next up is the motherboard. This is the MSI Meg X570 Ace. This thing's gonna be absolutely amazing platform for this build. So the Ace, um, just kinda at a high level, comes with a ton of features. 2.5 gig gaming LAN, Wi-Fi AX. It has the uh, Frozer heat sink over the chipset with active cooling. Um, you got Mystic Light Infinity, so you can customize all of the colors and LEDs with all of your different hardware. The Frozer heatsink, again, is going to keep your, uh, your chipset uh, cool, and it does it quietly. Um, and then we've got the Lightning Gen 4 solution. So this is the latest Gen 4 PCIe and M.2 solutions with up to 64 gigabyte per second bandwidth. So you're going to have insane speed with those M.2s. Uh, it's got a dual LAN, the latest Wi-Fi 6 solution, so if you're out there with those new Wi-Fi 6 routers, it's going to be ready for them, uh, plus a 2 gigabit LAN, as I mentioned earlier. Um, going to be really, really awesome performance. And then it has an extended heat pipe along the right-hand side of the board. This will allow you to be able to get maximum performance while keeping your components cool, hence the play fast, play cool. And I'm going to be giving this board everything it can take with the Ryzen 9 3900X, which we'll go ahead and introduce now as well. So I'm going all in. This is the Ryzen 9 3900X 12-core, 24-thread processor with a max boost clock of 4.6 gigahertz. Now this thing has been an absolute Intel killer, as has been the rest of their lines. It's a very exciting product. So a couple things to just note about this one, it's gonna have Precision Boost 2, uh, which can automatically raise your processor frequencies, Precision Boost Overdrive, which basically allows um, an extra CPU boost based on what your motherboard and your cooling is capable of, so it's kinda like automatic overclocking. And then you're gonna have Store MI, which is enabling uh, faster SSD speeds, a whole lot of capability on this Ryzen processor. It comes with a box cooler, but eh, you know, if we're going all out, I'll show it to you here just so you know what you're getting in the package. And this box cooler can work. I gave it a quick test, um, but that, that's not what we're going to use. We're going to use an awesome cooler masterpiece you'll see later. But this is the Ryzen 9 3900X. Now, I mentioned the cooler, and it is the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML240R RGB. It's an awesome cooler. I've used it, and it's 360 millimeter variant before. Now, it's a low-profile dual-chamber pump outperforms the single-chamber single, single chamber predecessors that were previous generations. It has addressable RGB LEDs that play very nicely with MSI's motherboards, but it also comes with an RGB controller in the box, which is very handy, just in case you're working with a motherboard that doesn't have an ARGB plug. And last but not least, I love the sleeving on the, uh, the hoses coming from the radiator to the water block and the water block itself. Very, very nice looking stuff, high quality. Underneath the sleeving, of course, is very flexible rubber tubes. You're not going to have to worry about leaks, and it's going to be a premium look. And there's that fan controller I mentioned as well. So we're going to jump into the GPU, the MSI Radeon RX 5700 Mech OC. This is a beautiful little card. And the 5700, I'm extremely excited to have this one. It is a lot of power in a 
pretty reasonably priced package. Um, so it's got Torx fan 3.0, it's the iconic MSI Torx fan from the past that pushes the thermal limits up because it's going to give you better cooling. Um, it's going to have direct heat pipes, so it's got really good heat transfer, catches all the heat from the GPU, distributes it out, those fans get it out through the fin. It's got lots of input-output that you'll see here in a moment on the back, and it's also got a premium back plate that helps strengthen the card and complements the overall design look. It is a very, very good looking card and a solid GPU. You'll get to see some performance off this thing later. I've been nothing but impressed. It has a single 8-pin power plug as well. Now let's jump over to the power supply. I am really loving these Cooler Master power supplies. I've gotten to use a couple now on some different MSI builds and I've been very impressed with them. This is going to be the Cooler Master V750 Gold fully modular power supply. So. Gold rated efficiency, this thing's going to be fantastic. Um, it's got 40% fanless mode, meaning that it won't even turn on the fan unless you're hitting that 40%. Um, with, along with an analog hybrid switch, it's got a silent 135 millimeter FDB fan. This thing operates quiet, it delivers the power. The cords are very nice, all black, they blend in with just about every build. And the power supply itself is very solid construction, very nice colors. I mean, it just it goes great with any build and plenty of power for very hungry GPUs and CPUs, a very nice piece to add to this build. All right, now I'm gonna jump onto a couple of Corsair products we got here, oh yeah. Right here is the Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB RAM. This is four sticks, eight gigabytes each for a total of 32 gigs of Dominator Platinum RAM. This is 3200 megahertz speed. This stuff's gonna be absolutely awesome. It's optimized for the latest Intel and AMD motherboards, and you can queue it up with the IQ software and get that lighting solution uh, working. You can also use it with Mystic Light. Now over here, the MP600. This thing makes use of the new PCIe uh, Gen 4 on the X570 motherboards, and I'm extremely excited to try it. This thing is one terabyte. They also have it in a two terabyte size. And you're talking about read and write speeds of 4,950 megabytes per second and 4,250 megabytes per second, respectively. So insanely fast. And it's going to deliver incredible storage performance, up to 10 times the sequential read and sequential write speeds of some SATA SSDs and up to 50 times the speed of a traditional hard disk drive, a spinning hard disk. Now, lastly, um, but not, not to be forgotten, is this um, MSI Mag CH110 chair. I did not expect a chair to be part of this, and quite honestly, I had a very nice chair in my office, and I put this thing together not knowing what to expect. Holy crap, I absolutely love it. Um, it's got the very nice uh, leathery um, finish on the outside, obviously, and then it's got some fabric pieces. It has adjustments to the back, to the height, to the armrest, to the lumbar pillow, to the neck pillow. The armrest adjusts up and down, back and forth. I have never been so comfortable recording and streaming as I have since I've had this chair. And I was one of those people who thought the idea of gaming chairs was honestly kind of stupid. MSI, you converted me. Now I've done full build videos before and I'm gonna do another one this month. I'm not gonna show all the steps of building it here but this is the final build. But Folks, let's, let's not kid ourselves. There's one very important step left that I absolutely have to show you. Oh my gosh, it's the ever so satisfying peel. Just savor it. Savor it. Oh yeah. That's some sweet peel action, folks. <laughs> what do you think of this? This case is absolutely beautiful. The parts are beautiful. Um, I mean, I, I'm just blown away. Like the, the, every aspect of this build has been absolutely top-notch. Now, I have an absolutely top-notch Intel gaming PC already because of MSI, but I, folks, Ryzen's here, and AMD is definitely up at their game here. Now, just uh, giving you some close-ups here so you can see the completed build, uh, the case, very, very elegant, the aluminum brush on the front side, lots of nice input-output here on the front for USB and then a Type-C. Those are all Type-3 on the, uh, the USB. Um, so yeah, the hinge doors make it very easy to get in and out. You can customize all of the colors via the Mystic Light on uh, MSI's apps that you're able to download. Just an absolutely beautiful system. I'll go ahead and turn on the monitor here. 
got everything working. And uh, yeah, I've got some benchmarks coming up after this to show you how it performs. We're gonna take a look at the CPU. Um, we're gonna take a look at some temperatures and we're gonna take a look at some gaming benchmarks as well as seeing how fast this new PCIe Gen 4 SSD is. So now that you've gotten to see it, let's jump over into those benchmarks. Let's get a look at the whole setup here because this is truly an epic play fast, play cool battle station we have going on here now. And to prove how awesome it is and how capable it is, I'm actually going to be um, filming and streaming a bunch of my content from this rig over the next several weeks just to show you that it's absolutely up to snuff. And if it's good enough for me, I promise you it's good enough for you. It even got Lucky on top there. Lucky the dragon. He approves of the build. You can see we got the ultimate streamer setup now with MSI, AMD, Cooler Master, and Corsair. How well does the Cooler Master ML240R RGB cool the Ryzen 9 3900X when it's being maxed out in this Meg X570 Ace motherboard? And trust me, that motherboard is maxing it out. So here I have CPU-Z running all 12 cores and 24 threads at 100%, and it's been going that way for almost 10 minutes. We're in the low 80s here, about 82 degrees. I'm using the Ryzen Master software so you can see what speeds the all-core boost is locked in at and the temperature. Um, so we're getting great performance out of it in multi-thread. By the way, that score over there in multi-thread just absolutely blows out a 9900K. So pretty awesome score. And uh, it's running at a, a nice temperature here, well below thermal, thermal limits. When you're gaming, this temperature is only 55 to 60, uh, but obviously in this test, it's running all the cores flat out. So this is a worst case scenario, and this is quite good performance, very good performance for such a high-end processor. Now, speaking of Cinebench, here we are in Cinebench R20. And this is gonna put our processor through its paces. Now remember, I have the Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core 24 thread processor. There is a comparison point over here on the left to show you where some other processors have scored. And it'll give us a good idea of what to expect in a heavy multi-threaded workload. So this is gonna give you some ideas on how your processor will do whenever the software is utilizing all those cores. We're going to see it run through this test, and uh, it's going to have a very impressive result. In fact, you're going to see it actually outscore the first generation 16 core, 32 thread, Threadripper 1950X. And that's actually what I'm rendering out this video on right now is my Threadripper system. And the cool thing is, is that now I've got this 3900X, which is going to be great at gaming and basically keep the workload just the same. So this is an insane result on Cinebench. Absolutely amazing. And a lot of this is obviously helped by the fact that the MSI X570 uh, uh, Meg Ace is really helping to give this thing all the power that it needs in order to hit max performance. Okay, now one of the tests I was super excited for was the uh, SSD speed test here. And you can see the results from the Crystalmark um, 6 and then I've got a slide pulled up here to kind of give you an idea of what is the difference between PCIe 4.0 SSDs and Gen 3. And you can see there, yeah, the numbers actually stack up and pretty much mark or match what was advertised. So this is on the left, the actual performance, and then I'm showing you the slide that shows you what AMD said to expect. So this Corsair MP600 absolutely hitting those insane speeds on the Gen 4 PCIe. All right, now we're gonna step over to um, a couple of benchmarks, gaming benchmarks really. We'll do 3D Mark here, which is kind of more of an objective one, right? And then I'm gonna show you some performance in Total War Warhammer 2. So on 3D Mark, I am using the Time Spy um, benchmark. This one is pretty common for folks to use. You'll see it used by overclockers and all the big tech channels. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to the results here and show you how it did. It did very admirably, scoring better than 75% of all systems. Now, remember a lot of stuff that's over on that right-hand side, uh, that 25% that's higher, that, that's crazy systems, you know, all kinds of SLI, nutty overclocking, all that other kind of stuff. So this is a very respectable score. You can see the graphics score there at 7871. Very nice score indeed. And then that MSI motherboard driving the CPU to a score that just stomps the 9900K. But can it run Warhammer 2, Air? 
Well, I know that's the question in everybody's hand. Can it Total War? Yes, it can. This is the uh, benchmark from Total War Warhammer 2. This is at 1440p. So this is 2560 by 1440p on high preset. Game looks very good, ran very smooth. You can see 70 frames per second. You're going to be getting a very smooth, high fidelity experience with this RX 5700 graphics card. Now, if you would rather run the game on ultra settings and maybe drop to 1080p, here's what that looked like. It was just under 80 frames a second. So regardless of how you dice it there, you're talking about a very smooth, very high graphics setting type of experience. So this is the ultra preset that you're seeing here, almost 80 frames a second, Total War Warhammer 2. That is some dang good quality, folks. That is extremely good performance in Total War Warhammer 2. All right, so roll the eye candy, and let's wrap things up for this video. Now, I am going to make another video giving you some more in-depth detail at how to build an entire computer. This one, I wanted to show you all the parts, show you how awesome it performed, and we'll continue on to another one. So, conclusions. I run a very high-end Intel gaming build, and I am going to switch to this one. <laughs> and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's been a long time. I am super ready to be on an all AMD system for a while. So I'm gonna run this, run my channel off this for a while, um, especially with Miss and Air and I doing a campaign together. This is a fantastic build, absolutely fantastic. Would highly recommend these AMD parts to any of you who might be interested in building such a system and really appreciate MSI for sponsoring the channel and appreciate Cooler Master Corsair uh, for also jumping in and helping with this build. Uh, this is really fantastic. Play fast, play cool. Both of those statements correct for this particular build, and I can guarantee that for you. I've tested it here myself. Definitely, like I said, recommend you all go check it out. There are There is a link in the description to go check out the landing page for play fast, play cool. There is also a giveaway. Make sure you go check those links. I want you all to win. And I want you all to see more about this. And by going and checking out that link, it's also a way to uh, kind of thank MSI for their support. And like I said, I definitely appreciate them. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. I will see you all soon with some more uh, PC build videos courtesy of MSI.